Hey there, my name is Yolita Berlin. I'm the owner and founder of Berlin Massage and Skin. And today I wanted to uh, talk to you about operator, owner, solo practitioner versus business owner. So if you are a massage or skincare solo practitioner and you wish to play a bigger game or uh, make more impact or have more flexibility, you might want to think about becoming manager, owner and start hiring people. But you have to decide what is your passion. Is your passion to be in the treatment room or is your passion business and running business and growing a business, marketing, sales? Because that is two different things. Being in the, in the same industry but different duties. So if you want to be an owner, you have to realize that you're going to have to deal with hiring and firing, managing people, directing people, training people. And that is at a certain level. There, You could be an owner that you hire a manager and you don't have to do those things so it also there's different levels of business ownerships but if you want to start learning yourself all those tasks and start hiring and start smaller from smaller to growing bigger you probably will have to go through those phases where you have to learn how to do those things yourself unless like i said if you uh, have more money that you can invest into the business you could hire a manager right off the bat and then you know hire yes. enough therapists and having a profit where you can have that manager salary. There's different ways to do it and different systems and different processes. For example, we have our own processes here at Berlin Massage and Skin and Lisa offer support. If you wanna become a business owner instead of a solo operator, entrepreneur, but you don't know how. Finding a franchise might be an option. There is financing available. Usually you only need 20% down because if you're gonna have a bigger business, you will need a bigger location. You will need more treatment rooms. You might need to do some build out. You will need more bigger marketing budget. And that can be, of course, done from the cash flow of the business. Like I said, you could start smaller and then grow, grow bigger, maybe open multiple locations, but you have to be willing to understand business, mark, learn, sales, marketing, of course, you tell us as a solopreneur, but it's going to be a next level game, so to speak, and it's going to be much more people in the team that you have to work with. So people skills are also important, management and getting along with people, setting good standards, good culture, enforcing policies and rules. You have to think about all these things. If you're interested to learn more what we have to offer, or if you have any questions, what I just talked about, post them in the comments down below. Are you a solopreneur? operator or do you want to grow business decision is yours if you want it it can definitely be learned and it can be really done if you just put work and your mind to it it's not going to happen without work you're going to have to put in work so just being honest not selling any shortcuts here but selling support and assistance and help so i hope you have a brilliant day